Welcome back in this new episode of the Python tutorial series. Today we will talk about the for loop, a good alternative for the while loop that we discussed in a previous episode. To create the for loop you must write for, then the name of a temporal variable that you can use in the for loop, like for example the letter i, but you can write whatever you want, then in, and then the easiest way to finish the for loop is writing random open parenthesis a number like 14 close parenthesis and colon this for loop create a temporal variable in this case the name the i sign in to zero execute all the line of codes that we implement and when the loop is finished go to the start and increase the value of the temporal variables by one so i becomes one then becomes two etc etc until become 13 then then when the i variable become 14 it exit from the loop so if i print i on screen it goes from 0 1 2 etc then 10 11 12 and 13 as i said another easy but useful way to use this for loop is create an array and assign the value 0 then the value 10 the value 3 6 and 12. With the for loop we can uh, scroll all the elements of the array with a temporal variable uh, like this for number in array colon print number. As you can see in this case uh, the for loop goes to the start of the array to his hand. This tutorial ends here. See you next time.